Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Grand Colombia. And in this episode we are going to attack this uh, Spanish fleet to bring in the fifth rate and then cash in the brig. So I think we're going to be doing uh, a lot of this as we as we expand to the Caribbean. The number of Spanish ships that can blockade us will go down and down and down. But for now, I believe they will probably keep on sporadically recruiting ships to come after us. Uh, so we're going to be doing lots of small ship actions because it's particularly worthwhile. It's a good source of ships for us and it's a good source of income. So we're just going to sail right at them. Uh, there will be a point where we don't want any more fifth rates. I should really start to try and recruit some fourths just to maintain that qualitative superiority. Especially after I've raided their dockyard in Santo Domingo. Or near Santo Domingo. So they're not able to... They're not able to uh, match me. And really I'd like to get my galleons out onto the... Into the onto the trade zones to get some more goods. But then again, I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting attacked on the trade zones fairly soon. Uh, because... Spain has quite a large naval presence. But yeah, the objective is to try and capture Diligente and sink Santo Cristo de Mar Maracaibo. Maracaibo, Maracaibo. All they've got to do is just get there. Okay, let's do this just to try and cut them off. Yeah, you can see them making their course, minute course adjustments to try and cross them, cross the T ahead of me. Um, I'm okay with taking damage. Actually, let's just cut right through the middle of them. So they've engaged San Paolo. Yeah, they've got two salvos off, but we will... successfully cut their formation. Blast them! Santa Cristo is... Oh, Santa Cristo surrendered already. So you haul get some more chain shots fired try and knock out one another or one of our masts a load of misses this ship fire round shot at range San Miguel also fire chain Try and knock out one of the masts. There we go. I mean, you might just weigh anchor there. We we'll drop anchor. Same with you, really. Fire as she bears. Everyone's going to pound her now. Fired upon from all directions. Watch when my sailors fall. But she caught in a little bit of a crossfire. You're on fire. You're wavering. Steady. You want to... You want to stop firing if you want to put out that fire. I mean, I know I'm not, I'm not using broadsides enough. Oh, 
turning. It will cut some of your some of the ropes that are stabilizing central the mainmast. Come on, lads. Oh, it doesn't matter. Fire! Oh, <laughs> I fired it just a split second. Either way, we took the ships. We can then push the, the brig out for the cash. So let's claim the fifth. Cash in the brig. And then that means this. these ships can go back to Cartagena. One and a half grand in our pocket. That's a decent looking cluster of ships. And we can get them all repaired without just on the cash that we've got. That's really good. Spend the remainder on this chap to make sure he's still replenishing. The garrison is weak, but you should be able to deal with them. And back at Caracas, you can't do anything. But yeah, we're going to take Panama. That's going to open up a land trade route with Mexico, which is good. Um, but then we may go for Santo Domingo, because that will be very useful for us. Two more, three plantations producing goods, two ports becoming three, and you will generate a town down the line. So Santo Domingo is quite good. Let's have a look at what they've got. Small garrison. That's good. Three turns to get fired by rank. And then, then, that, then that's when things really go crazy. Right, let's hit in turn. What was that? Military alliance of Quebec. No, involves trading regions. Bad Quebec. Bad. Uh, if possible, I'd like to ally with Mexico so I can focus on conquering the Caribbean. Um, opportunity to intercept, yes. I might just me ask much auto that. It's a very small action. Uh, the US. Yeah, I'd like to focus on conquering the Spanish and carving out my uh, small empire. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. I thought the Brits were coming after me. There goes the Royal Navy versus the US Navy. But they appear to be leaving us alone for now. It'll be interesting to see how Europe breaks down and who will become the dominant powers. France is on the march. They're not coming after us, are they? No. Going after the Royal Navy, I would wager. The Royal Navy's just getting... Oh, it's both their main trade ports blockaded. Bad times. So the Brits are expanding in India. Ah, oh, Ceylon. Oh, Ceylon is, is ready for the taking. Too bad I can't focus on them for now. Oh, here comes the Ottoman end turn phase. And it looks like they are continuing to chug. So, see you in a second, everyone. And we are back. Actually, I better make note of <laughs> how, long the, how long the section was. Russia's after Sweden. That's not surprising. But Denmark is going to be down for the count. Well, that's sort of inevitable. Although Iceland is... Oh, those are probably Cornish... Not Cornish. Uh, Danish rebels. Cornish rebels. That'd be pretty neat. Right. Colin's being called on the Mamluk fleet. It looks like they're setting sail. Senor. So, Mr. Serrano. First of all, you can take a bite of, the a bite of my income. Demand the surrender of Panama. Go after yeah, these leftovers. So, what we want to do... Take the sloop out of here over to Panama. How are we doing on the cash front? 6,300 next turn. We've been, we've been cut off a while from uh, our friends and allies getting hit by... 
being hit by being blockaded. Well, I suppose you ought to nah, go go combine with the forces here. So you are minus two. That will be solved imminently when this fleet, when this army rather, gets in. But we can't as yet upgrade anything or repair the government building or upgrade the roads until next turn. So I'm going to hit and turn again. And it's it's really unfortunate that ooh yes please just an alliance is grand. Um. It's been unfortunate that uh, Turkey, or the Ottomans, have chosen now to start chugging rather than later in the episode, because, or later in the campaign, because right now is when I've got my, uh, I need to crank through a lot of end turns. Ooh, the Brits have been repulsed from Morocco. That's good. Barbary States have been Barbary States. Crimea's trading some ivory. Everything's pretty stable for now. But I do want to get my army off against Santo Domingo. Not go after Trinidad and Tobago because they're kind of blockaded. But if I could take Santo Domingo and Cuba, those would be quite decent holdings to have. Oh. And it's another chug. Just a second. Ah, right. Probably not going anything too startling again, but I really hope whatever's causing the Ottomans to slow down get solved quickly. But I think the big thing's got to be on plugging the gaps at Panama, building the roads, and then seeing where we where we are. Good, we got a full a full turn income, so. New men fully replenish. We don't can't upgrade the port. But we can upgrade the roads. Let's get Panama growing. Bogota's at eight thousand four hundred already. That's really good. Growing at thirty four a turn. Caracas is at is growing sixteen a turn. Although well, Caracas does have the university. To be fair, one more turn to we get five by rank. That's really good. Let's upgrade... Oh, we can do both of these. The government building and the weaver's cottage. Because then Punda is starting to grow decently as well. We can start to tax you to gain an extra 228 a turn. So you are fully replenishing. I think I'd like to get us some proper artillery rather than horse artillery. Could recruit some regular musket men, but... There's no point to do that just yet. Okay, let's take our sloops and go frustrate the Spanish. Ooh, they're being blockaded by someone. Quebec. Oh, Quebec's gone after them. We definitely want to go after Santo Domingo because their garrison's gone to port of pay Paramaribo is tempting. Let's go for the rebels, their port, just to make sure we get it. We'll just make sure we go after their port. Um, but I'm, I'm not, I don't kind of want to border with France just yet. That's the main hole, that's the main drawback for me with Paramaribo. I don't want that French border. I'd like to focus on some of these islands first. Because then at least it's something I can hold with my navy. Okay, let's probably take you over to Rio de la Hacha. Then I can free up this unit of line infantry. Okay, let's take my my fleet, except my sixth rate, my Grand and Merry Tour. Just do a circuit of Cuba. Are there any... I mean, we can try and earn some money through raiding. Yes, that gets us a good chunk of change. Oh, I suppose technically that's the better place to go. 
because it combines a few additional uh, routes. Although I think that's effectively where all where the Spanish trade from Florida and Cuba joins up. So I don't think we're going to get that much more from there. One more turn till fly by rank. That's going to be huge. Then we probably want to go on get some of these mining technologies upgraded so that we can so that we can uh, focus on upgrading our mine mining infrastructure. Or potentially another uh, university upgrade so that we can upgrade our university. Uh, when the next the next town that grows in Bogota, I will, that's where I'll build another university because I need to get a, a modern university somewhere. But I think it's about 20 turns ish before that happens. Whoop, make sure I make sure I get ready to drop a note. So none, the only major power that's gone so far is Poland and Lithuania. Punjab's gone. Oh, hi, the Dutch. The Dutch are gone. At least the French and the British are keeping each other in check. Yeah, the French need to keep on killing Dutch rebels. But I want to take advantage of Spanish weakness in the Americas before I go too mad with the old campaigning. Oh, that, there was a couple of bits of movement quite quick. There's another bit. Is this the turn? Is this the turn where it jumps forward? It's better. But it's definitely a lot better than it was. Got lots of Ottoman movement around in the Balkans. I mean, the most bizarre thing, the reason why they shut it all down, is because they do insist on moving troops around in such small numbers. Presumably because they've got one army, they want to split up into lots of different units to send to different places. But it's just confusing that we have to uh, do this, go around this whole rigmarole. Because it, ooh, that's not not happy about that. I mean, I don't, I don't see why the Ottomans would go for us. They may do. They may go for one of our holdings. But this is why fire by rank is so important. Because once we get it, I I'm not worried about anything. Ten thousand fire by rank done. Okay, let's get utilitarianism, just so I can start unlocking class the classical university. You come over to here. I don't. There's no urgent rush to move these troops around. You're still not replenished yet. Upgrade the governor's building. How many turns is it? 23 turns for Medellin, although I'm sure that's a town. Yeah, there it is. 27 turns to your next port is done. Let's replenish you. Let's recruit two units of artillery. Well, two units of foot artillery plus a unit of howitzers. And we've got 4,200 that we can't really spend. Let's recruit one galleon and I'm going to send one galleon from here over to East Africa. Santo Domingo itself isn't super wealthy, but it's because Spain hasn't actually spent the money on upgrading it, at least not as much as they could have done. Though strictly speaking, maybe Division of Labour is the one to go for because it gets us all these awesome economic boosts, including upgrading all our plantations and ports. Yeah, let's do that. We've got a lot of ports, but a good number of plantations now after our capture of Panama. Let's check to see if we can trade with anyone else now we've got more ports. <laughs> right, so Britain is allied with Austria. Let's try and get trade with Austria. 
No. Okay, Quebec. We're friendly. We were trading. No. Russia. Let's trade. Excellent. The US. Let's trade. Nice. Georgia. Trade. No. I'm not going to pay you. Italian states. No. Morocco. Ah, what the hell. Most big powers have fire by rank. And what this will do is it will slow down the British expansion into North, um, North Africa. I suppose I will go for this because they are... The Mamelukes aren't a... They're, they're, they're Baghdad. Baghdad's not bad. Okay, now let's, now let's try the Italian states. Will you ask for less money? Come on. Oh, God, no. Like, big old offer, including the transfer of, ter of territory. Oh, why, does pe why do people not want to trade? Still, 14 grand next turn. That's really good. And we've diversified our trade partners significantly, which is really good. Let's hit end turn again. Spain, maybe gathering armies for another attack the u.s has got a lot of upgrading it could be doing but it isn't for whatever reason although it is expanding west well it was anyway just a second let's say britain's getting ready for another invasion of somewhere Although what I might do with 14 grand for one turn is build walls around... See, there, the French are going to take Paramaribo, which is all right. I might build walls around New Andalusia to help defend the city, because it's one I very much cannot afford to lose. It's my centre of my military power. So just, just for a turn, we can upgrade or build some fortifications around it. Well, this is not looking. This is this is less encouraging now. So this is what the Ottoman then turns have been like before. They just kind of completely stop. So see you in a second, everyone. So I missed it because I was on my phone while the end turn was going through. But the uh, that Ottoman army, there it is. It landed on Morocco. It landed to try and take out their capital, and then they're not going for us, which is delightful. So maybe, uh, uh, still might upgrade New Andalusia, because with that, with some walls and a, a fairly mediocre garrison, you can do a lot of damage. Okay, let's sink the money into that first, because yeah, then it's, Caracas is really quite exposed. Does mean we can't upgrade the roads of Panama yet, but it doesn't matter because you're still replenishing anyway. We got one thousand. Keep on pushing forward. Crewman report and ciliary gained. Yeah, control of works. Good. Nothing else to really go after. Except have a look at what's going on in this port. Because the Spanish are, yeah, they are uh, getting some uh, getting some troops over here. So we're going to block them. We're going to lose our trade income, but I think it's worth doing. Down to eleven thousand. Let's recruit a sloop here, at Panama, so that when you are fighting fit, you can come over here, pick up the artillery, go for Santo Domingo. Six turns till we get. Division of Labour. Although we should yeah. No. This this tech is we're taking too slow. For me. Let's focus on getting the next level universities. Okay, the Royal Observatory is the best building we're gonna get. For a while, so we're not gonna be generating lots of gentlemen to help offset that either. 
Nice of Quebec to keep this area blockaded. Okay, let's hit end turn. Oh yeah, they're gonna they're gonna send an army. Or well, they won't send an army anyway. I should I should okay next turn I'm gonna build a fourth rate because one of my ports are able to construct fourth rates. Because at some point we will be engaging in combat against the the United States. Oh, the Brits have taken Morocco. The Ottomans have been pushed back to Iraq. The Brits are bringing in reinforcements. Barbary states are pushing off. Oh, they're chasing down the Portuguese into the Black Sea. You monsters! So the Russians still haven't taken... Crimea yet? Ah, oh, poor old Savoy. They were ra they were peacefully raiding. Then they got pushed out of the port, and then they got annihilated by the French navy. Poor poor souls. So I imagine the Ottomans are actually no, they, they, they might have got pushed back to Greece. Let's see where you're going. That's a nice green trade region, trade route there. Turning yellow. Ah, oh, the Ottomans are doing some raiding. That's that's okay. We're not at war with them. There comes another Savoy ship. They have not given up trying to raid the French. So where are they going? Oh, they're just going to raid the trade route. Very nice. Oh, this is the ship that got chased to the Black Sea. They're turning home. Well, they, well, they were going home. Russian Navy beat the Swedes. That's not bad. The Marathas are consolidating the territory over India. But other than that, things are going just fine. I am. I must admit, I am surprised that we're not. We've not been a target priority for a major nation yet. And the Ottoman turn skipped over quite nicely. So what are you up to? Ah, oh, we don't get to see. Ten grand, so... Upgrade the roads, let's take... A sloop out. You men, embark. Oops. Sail over to Caracas. Get you guys back in to the port. Which, first of all, just because I can see it. Galleon. Get out to East Africa. And just so I don't forget. We're just looking to beef up our trade fleet just enough to make it not quite so easy pickings. We want the artillery, not so much the infantry yet. We land. Excellent. You can men recover to Otto Branda. Uh, get a couple of the units of Cav. Upgrade Pundas. Government building, upgrade the water power cloth mill. 1300. It's not bad. Maybe recruit militia for Panama. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want to do. Well, I definitely don't have enough money, but let's find out where I can do it. Yeah, there it is. Bunda is a commercial. Basin, which is a step up from commercial port. But I don't have the money to recruit a fourth rate, so we're going to have to recruit a sixth rate. Although I could just not recruit anything. 
save the cash for next turn. That's a smart thing to do. We'll demand the surrender of Santo Domingo and push down to the port here. Clear them out. Then we have access to a shipyard. And that will pay dividends in future. So right now it won't be a discriminator because we can get fourths from the commercial basin. Um, but fourth rates are the, the highest you can get from um, commercial ports. Ooh. It feels like there the US is trying to work out what they can, what they're going to do about us. But we need to let them know that we are the power in the Caribbean. They can't push us around. We are a true and sovereign nation. And interestingly, if they declare war on us, it will be interesting to see if the great empire of Mexico backs us or them. More raiding from Prussia. Knights of St. John are just chilling. I mean, who are you marching against, Ottomans? Are you going against Russia? See, look how quickly their turn skips past now. It can be a bit frustrating to deal with them slowing down the end turn phase, but it does go in peaks and troughs with the Ottomans. Sometimes it's really bad, sometimes it's not a problem. But yeah, just it, it kind of sucks, especially if you're in the mood. But just wait it out, play on your phone for a bit. Check out Twitter, check out the news, depending on what your... Uh, feelings around monitoring the news is like. There we go. So we've got a small force here for reinforcements and that could potentially be expanded into something else. Demand the surrender of the town. Oh no, they have not. They have not surrendered. And we're going to fight it because if I skipped all the smaller battles early game, then nothing would happen. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to skip small battles later on but earlier on let's just try get some action in at least there's still going to be action when we push northwest uh, against the troops holed up in our port well soon to be our port but let's get cracking so Mike's actually first of all okay let's trial try this out put artillery sit back Infantry plus some grenadiers push through the, t push through the town. I mean, I don't have to think too hard about this because it is a militia army. Get my frontiersmen and my horse artillery on the right flank. Howitzers just start popping off shots. Screen the horse artillery with my cavalry. you'd say horse artillery I want you to go over here cavalry go with them my actual infantry move up all this infantry just I mean it's very unnecessary to push so many troops through the town but Feels thematic. Yeah, they are getting their run on. Frontiersmen are going to be in range. The 8th Regiment of Militia. Poor devils. Here comes the 5th Regiment of Foot. The 11th are on their way. The Frontiersmen are going to open the open the ball. Long range shots against the 8th. Oh, here comes a devastating volley from the 2nd. Yeah, let's push them back for good. Put my cavalry in. Force artillery unlimber. Uh, 
you men get up on top of the rise here. Infantry plus frontiersmen just advance towards the next line. Uh, you guys don't have to push, especially as you're screwing it up. Horse artillery engage. Troops in the town of Broken. Just push everyone through, swarm them. Get my general up here as well. There we go, one of them militia units has decided, wait a minute. That's right. Come back to the fray, then we will engage you with the bayonet. Go get him, 5th Regiment. The 11th Regiment will come in and help in due course. Frontiersmen push up on the flank and engage them. Send in the 11th. Charge! They're losing men rapidly. Oh, go on, get some. He's crouching down, looking all covert. This fella on the right. Is he going to get someone? Let's pick our particular guy. No! You're not going to let him get away with that. Not too late, he is going to let him get away with it. Okay, they're going to fall. They're going to sit there in there. Fortifications until they realise. No, there we go. They're going to stand up and abandon them. Horse artillery pop off some shots. It's mostly going to be when my infantry gets involved. That's where the real pain's coming. But well, they got a couple of kills. Oh, there they go. You go, you devils. Excellent. So the city is ours. Then we can push on to the last remaining holdings of troops, which are to the north. So let's exempt you from tax just for now. Actually, I might leave a union of dragoons back because then we can tax you. New men push forward to Port of Pay and attack this last force here. Christian Aguilar, you're actually quite a you're reasonably good general. However, we do outnumber you massively. Um, but this territory is really good for us. It's got a good number of ports, a good number of resources to trade. And the shipyard will be very useful. Although I think it will probably be better off building the shipyard near... Um, Caracas, because then we've got well, so Caracas hasn't got much, there's not much scope for exports out of Caracas so we can afford you know, everything can come out of one port for Caracas, but Santo Domingo has got a lot of uh, a lot of potential products for export so it's raining, so we're going to get Sound challenges. Let us charge their gun line. Well, they must admit I'm not using my horse artillery the way they should be used, so let's limber them up. Light, uh, light cavalry advance. Oh, my howitzers aren't limbered, unlimbered either. 
There we go, get it to work. Be men charge. Provincial line. Some grenadiers. Who look pretty good. Then we've got General's bodyguard. Just sat, sat back here, chilling. Another volley of artillery. Not sure who they're engaging specifically. Now let's put you guys up like so. Oh, frontiersmen push up. Oh, it's the buccaneers. Charge the buccaneers. Actually, no, charge the general. The buccaneers are about to get charged by my line. Or actually, they might just get shot by my line. So you men go here, you men go here. The enemy gunners are broken. So you men push up into that gap. There we go. Now we're getting some sound. Just surround them. Enemy general's bodyguard is vulnerable. We'll be taking some friendly fire here. Cease fire. How is this to change target against the grenadiers? My own first grenadier regiment is going to start popping off some shots. You can just see the top of them. I think my grenadiers look better than theirs. Oh, there goes the general's bodyguard. We have not got a kill. However, they will... Ah, there we go. Nice. I mean, unsurprising that they were finished off so rapidly. But there we are. Kidoki. Adelante por la corona y la nación. So Quebec will cease their blockade. Get the roads upgraded, the sugar plantations at max, upgrade the shipyard. But yeah, so the idea is that Santa Domingo's got three plantations. Although they are meager, meager, and meager. Actually, no, we should be fine. Um, I didn't want my resources to be bottlenecked. Ooh, so third-rate ships of the line. Yeah, we're going to need some fourth rates. So let's get one of these sloops up to our port. Although they can't get there because they're currently being blockaded. 24-pounder frigate. Sixth, fifth, sixth brig. Second rate, Trumbull. Yeah. You will be very useful down the line, but not quite yet. 1100 this turn. Let's see if anyone's changed their mind about trade. Especially you, Austria. Fine. I hate paying for trade. Nope. No region swaps. I was hoping with Crimea that we're trading with Russia. That, that would earn us some positive. Same with you. We are... Oh no, you're actually allied with Spain. That's quite interesting. They know what side their bread's buttered. Nope. See, they all want Caracas. And that's what makes me concerned about the security of Caracas in the long term. Yes, Mexico. Sending two armies north. Don't go for us, Mexico, please. I mean, if they do, it's not the end of the world. We've got an army now. We've got a large amount of trade income. If they start anything, we'll take them out. I could really do with a second university. Because right now I fear I'm being out-competed as far as technology goes. There's not a lot I can do about that, at least for now. Austria's raiding Spain. It's not a problem. Spain is my enemy. Okay, 
Okay, let's see where the Prussian Navy goes. I think I should. Yeah, I, I think I am going to focus on the philosophical text first, just to try and get that passive, uh, passive wealth growth baked in as early as possible, rather than trying to. Uh, yeah. Well, I generally do like going for the philosophical text first, but I think we actually get so much money from... Well, no, the philosophical text really get us good bonuses for plantation growth and expansion, greater production. So I think that is still probably overall my best outcome. When we get a second university, they can start to focus on the naval technologies. Alliance broken between Quebec and Austria. Ooh, indeed. Uh -huh, so they give them the, third, the second ratio of the line to Joss Thorn. Okay, let's get my sloop Bahama to Port of Pay. Seaman fully replenish. Could make Santa Domingo a military island, but I don't. I'm not overly bothered about that. Galleons. Fourths. Still get the dry dock. We are going to want it. Let's recruit a whatever is the cheapest. A buccaneer unit. They're going to garrison the port, so I don't need to leave it. Leave a ship here. Fleet arrives. Good stuff. Expanding our trade empire. Who owns Iceland? The Iroquois. Interesting. The Americans have taken Niagara, so they're hopefully they're focused on the war against the native troops for a while, so we can grow our empire. Whatever, well, eight, four eights. I don't think it's anything I really want to do. Can't upgrade anything. I might just sit on this cash. I mean, we're upgrading. We're building some fourth-rate ships of the line, which are great. Um, but I don't think I need to bake all that in for now. Let's let's sit on it. Let's let our uh, investments tick off. Although we could, well, it could. It means we could potentially invest in a second army. Send one to Ceylon to get the tea. Then we would we would bring it back. We wouldn't invade India yet. Because that would be a bit crazy. We want to try and dominate the Americas first. Let's try and be masters of the Caribbean. Except for Mexico. They are our allies. Although it would get us an access to another university, which is what we so desperately need. But I think we are destined for war with the United States. And I think taking Florida is the way to induce that, because it will give us a border and it will give them cause for concern. But if we continue our island hopping, we've got to take Cuba first. Then we've got to take Florida. And by then, we should have a few more technologies researched. We should be a little bit stronger. And yeah, I mean, I know Te Mexico is our natural expansion territory. Because Mexico has got a bunch of, you know, bunch of uh, mines. It's a good city to take. It's got a university in there. But there are al they are our allies. I don't want to do that. So we have to look for other avenues. But it looks like the Ottomans are going to chug. So see you in a second. And we are back in the mix. And Savoy is continuing its uh, tradition of sailing ships around the continent. Persian ships are coming into coming into play. They're raiding off of the French coast. Where are they going? They must be going after Sweden somewhere. Sweden looks like they're continuing to square off against the Russians. 
Oh, the Brits are going to... Spain and the US have lost their alliance. And Sweden. It looks like Morocco are... They may take back Tangier. They are very cross. Caracas. There we go. We've got our fort. I think we may just... We may have to start building another army because right now we have no use for the cash we may as well get building excellent so that's the first fourth rate ship of the line let's make that my admiral batista gutierrez Can you join my raiding fleet and my blockading fleet Okay, send my Dragoons out. There we go. Deposit the Buccaneers. Because how long till your next town develops? 32 turns, yeah. Hmm. I think I may have to go for this, build the university, then start to actually try and research farming techs. Although they're still quite big, 11 turns each compared to five and six turns for these techs. Let's invest in another fourth rate ship of the line. War declared between France and Spain. Good for us. They're going after the Cherokee. And when you've finished, I mean, ultimately you probably could just go without replenishing. Because Havana is probably not garrisoned. It is not. Embark. So let's try siege the city. See if we can draw this army out of the port to try and stop us. Britain is another tempting target once we've dealt with this, but they've got a whole bunch of allies, including Mexico. I mean, Spain's hostile with us. Everyone else we're just on really good terms with. There you go. Trade with Quebec. I mean, we just... Uh, no. We, we're just on such good terms with everyone. You know what? Three and a half thousand. As soon as I start getting cash, I'm I'm very keen to throw it away. Except for that, not five grand. Go on then. We can still trade with people. That's silly. I mean, okay, yeah, sure. How can we still trade with everyone? Why do we not have a trade limit? That seems weird. That's our fourth rate we've built. Okay. Let's get marching on again. Trade with Quebec means you get to see what's going on up there. And they're building up another fleet. Oh, and Spanish going after. Oh, hello. Yeah, so there goes a bunch of our trade income. That's what I thought they would do. They'd run away from the port to help try and save their city. So that's going to take a chunk of our trade income, but now our fleet that's currently sat at the at the southeastern end of Cuba can come back and defend our trade port. Oh, they're getting Britain's recruiting troops around Gibraltar, not Gibraltar. Yeah, Gibraltar. They're not about to let them. They're not about to lose Tangiers without a fight. But now I've got a steady income, and I've got the capacity to recruit some good ships. I'm probably not going to claim Spanish ships to join our army, our navy rather. I am probably going to use it to... Oh, well, I suppose I could use it to bulk out our trade fleet. Might be quite a cheap way of gaining some additional resources for trade. Just take our captured ships and sell them out to a trade zone. At which point it doesn't really matter if I lose them because it hasn't really cost us anything. 
no wasted turns of production, no wasted uh, income. It would just be a probably temporary gain, but still a temporary gain. Because eventually they're going to get... When, I when the big war kicks off, uh, everyone's going to be very upset at everyone else. The Austrians took Milan from Spain, so Spain is Spain's last territory in Europe. It's very tempting to invade. Sweden is bolstering their strength. They're going to sail and invade someone. They're clearing the Baltic. I mean, Sweden's doing good work. They just are doing good work. Oh, the rebels have decided actually this is a bad idea. Yes, yeah, so we've got 13 grand. Ooh, a fifth and a fourth. Interesting. So let's upgrade the governor's palace. Can't upgrade the plantations and such yet. We can upgrade the roads in Santo. Santo Domingo. There's a privateer. So let's just go back to raiding. You men go over here. Demand the surrender of the city. And push. Get ready to push east. Exempt them from tax. She might do what we did last time. Leave our dragoon. Uh, they're not moved too far away. But one more turn, they'll, one turn they'll be okay. So you're going to have to fight to push these guys off of the island. They're probably going to do some damage and do some raiding, but that's okay. So you've got a fourth and a fifth. Let's take. Something like that, I think. Let's take him out. We might take the fourth rate into us. Actually, this, this, they're both good ships, really. I suppose I'm just a sucker, because I can't help but think, they're all good, I like them all. So I want to start up here. So their ships are already wounded, particularly the 4th. San Luis, Sao Paulo, Sacramento Diligente, Velasco, San, San Justo. Yeah, we're on our way. The galleons do look spectacular. I do love how the galleons look. Fourth rates are okay, but the galleons just have a bit of extra flair about them. That crest, the fancier lanterns. Yeah, I think we will try actually, yeah, on reflection, I think I will we will take both ships into our service. Too bad your admiral's not climbed to the fighting tops. And we can shoot him off. Okay, let's break the formation. You're going to go one side, you're going to go the other. You're going to go one side, you're going to go the other. That full chat. She may be able to thread the needle between all, between both of them. Broadside ready. Both broadsides ready. You're gonna fire a devastating broadside into San Luis and another one into San, Just San Justo. It's time to put poke holes in our sails. You will regret that. 
big, big whiff from our chase guns. Sales, we want speed. Fire! Don't reload. So you might turn and fire chain. You're going to turn like so. Top of the top of the main mast. It's a good outcome. Should be better off turning off, turning that way. I suspect. Here comes my admiral at the wheel of Velasco. Get my fifth rate ready to chase down their fifth rate. San Luis is routing. Routing again. Give you orders to pursue and destroy. Fire a volley of chain shot into their masts. Some wires, but nothing decisive. Actually, I don't board, just keep firing. You men fire round shot. Okay, yeah, San Luis has surrendered. You cut across her stern. Sacramento, get a volley of chain. No, they're not going to get it. Oh, they did. They got a few shots off. Yes, the main mast is down. Your hours, matey boy. You can't outrun us now. For you, lucky swines. Routing surrendered. Hurrah! The perfect crime. Not a close victory, that was a good win. We can take those ships. Take those ships into the fleet. Certainly quicker than recruiting fourth rates ourselves. Orden, you men Captain. return to Otto Branda for repairs. Okay, let's put a sloop into Santiago de Cuba. You men keep Holguin bottled up. We're going to dismantle this shipyard. Okay, six grand. I'm not going to spend anything in Cuba yet. One more turn to the new, until our technology's been upgraded. So let's hit end turn. Okay, everything looks like it's going okay. Another American fleet. I mean, we will need to build a decent fleet to bend off the US Navy. Particularly that small fleet that's hanging around next to us. The Iroquois have been destroyed. They've been wiped out by the Americans. 
Cherokee, the Cherokee are uh, looking dicey because they're being squeezed by the Spanish from the south. The Austrians are moving in on Venice, which isn't terrible. The French are building up their strength to try and do something. The Prussians are expanding their foothold in Europe quite nicely. I haven't seen much of India recently. But that's not too bad. Uh, <laughs> the thing is with India is you... you if you don't invade them, they invade you. <laughs> they start sending armies out to come and get you. Same with Persia. Very, very common for them just to send uh, armies out to come and get you. But still, there's no big surprises in Europe just yet. The Dutch usually get killed. The Polish usually get killed. We haven't really seen any major upsets yet. Although I did like it when the Dutch managed to expand massively in one of my other campaigns. I think it was the Italian states. They own most of Western Europe. That was quite fun. It was a bit different. Russia's been in Russia. Also, they might have pushed into, into Finland, but they've soon thought better of it. Sweden's raiding. See, there's already some decent fleets hanging around the trade zones. Utilitarianism, good. Let's upgrade my university. And then let's go on to division of labour. Okay, good. That's you strengthened. I may push Galleon out to trade theatre because I thought I mean I like having galleons around but if I can get fourths I may as well slowly accumulate fourth rates fourth fifths bomb catches privateers and so on and just keep Cuba as a military area so Sebastian Serrano attack Javier Costa but looking at the timer I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Grand Columbia. Cheers everyone.